Afroasiatic Languages, Wikipedia Article Audio Afroasiatic, also known as Afrasian and traditionally as Hamido-Semitic or Semito-Hamitic, is a large language family of about 300 languages and dialects. It includes languages spoken predominantly in West Asia, North Africa, the Horn of Africa and parts of the Sahel. Afroasiatic languages have over 495 million native speakers, the fourth largest number of any language family. The phylum has six branches, Berber, Chadic, Cushitic, Egyptian, Omotic and Semitic. Etymology Distribution and branches by far the most widely spoken Afroasiatic language is Arabic. A language within the Semitic branch, it includes modern standard Arabic as well as spoken colloquial varieties. Arabic has around 290 million native speakers, who are concentrated primarily in West Asia, North Africa and the Horn of Africa. Other widely spoken Afroasiatic languages include In addition to languages spoken today, Afroasiatic includes several important ancient languages, such as Ancient Egyptian, Akkadian, Biblical Hebrew and Old Aramaic. It is debated when and where the original homeland of the Afroasiatic family existed. Proposed locations include North Africa, the Horn of Africa, the Eastern Sahara and the Levant. During the early 1800s, linguists grouped the Berber, Cushitic and Egyptian languages within a Hamitic phylum, in acknowledgement of these languages' genetic relation with each other and with those in the Semitic phylum. The terms Hamitic and Semitic were etymologically derived from the Book of Genesis which describes various biblical tribes descended from Ham and Shem, two sons of Noah. By the 1860s, the main constituent elements within the broader Afroasiatic family had been worked out. The scholar Friedrich Ma Onefourthler introduced the name Hamido-Semitic for the entire family in his Grundrister Sprachwissenschaft. Maurice Delafosse later coined the term Afroasiatic. However, it did not come into general use until Joseph Greenberg formally proposed its adoption. In doing so, Greenberg sought to emphasize the fact that Afroasiatic spanned the continents of both Africa and Asia. Classification History Individual scholars have also called the family Eruthrian and Lysramic. In lieu of Hamido-Semitic, the Russian linguist Igor Diakonov later suggested the term Afrasian, meaning half African, half Asiatic, in reference to the geographic distribution of the family's constituent languages. The term Hamido Semitic remains in use in the academic traditions of some European countries. Subgrouping the Afroasiatic language family is usually considered to include the following branches. Although there is general agreement on these six families, there are some points of disagreement among linguists who study Afroasiatic. In particular, in the 9th century, the Hebrew grammarian Judah Ibn Koresh of Tyarat in Algeria was the first to link two branches of Afroasiatic together, he perceived a relationship between Berber and Semitic. He knew of Semitic through his study of Arabic, Hebrew, and Aramaic. Position among the world's languages In the course of the 19th century, Europeans also began suggesting such relationships. In 1844, Theodore Benfey suggested a language family consisting of Semitic, Berber, and Cushitic. In the same year, T.N. Newman suggested a relationship between Semitic and Hausa, but this would long remain a topic of dispute and uncertainty. 
Date of Afroasiatic Friedrich Ma IV-ler named the traditional Hamado-Semitic family in 1876 in his Grundrister Sprachwissenschaft, and defined it as consisting of a Semitic group plus a Hamitic group containing Egyptian, Berber, and Cushitic, he excluded the Chadic group. It was the Egyptologist Carl Richard Lepsius who restricted Hamitic to the non-Semitic languages in Africa, which are characterized by a grammatical gender system. This Hamitic language group was proposed to unite various, mainly North African, languages, including the ancient Egyptian language, the Berber languages, the Cushitic languages, the Beja language, and the Chadic languages. Unlike Ma Onefourthler, Lepsius considered that Hausa and Nama were part of the Hamitic group. These classifications relied in part on non-linguistic anthropological and racial arguments. Both authors used the skin color, mode of subsistence, and other characteristics of native speakers as part of their arguments that particular languages should be grouped together. Afroasiatic Urimat In 1912, Karl Mainhoff published Die Sprache in der Hamilton, in which he expanded Lepsius's model, adding the Fula, Masse, Bari, Nandi, Sanda, and Hadza languages to the Hamitic group. Mainhoff's model was widely supported into the 1940s. Mainhoff's system of classification of the Hamitic languages was based on a belief that speakers of Hamitic became largely coterminous with cattle herding peoples with essentially Caucasian origins, intrinsically different from and superior to the Negroes of Africa. But, in the case of the so called Nilo Hamitic languages, it was based on the typological feature of gender and a fallacious theory of language mixture. Mainhoff did this although earlier work by scholars such as Lepsius and Johnston had substantiated that the languages which he would later dub Nilo-Hamitic were in fact Nilotic languages, with numerous similarities in vocabulary to other Nilotic languages. Leo Reinisch had already proposed linking Cushitic and Chadic, while urging their more distant affinity with Egyptian and Semitic. However, his suggestion found little acceptance. Marcel Cohen rejected the idea of a distinct Hamitic subgroup, and included Hausa in his comparative Hamido Semitic vocabulary. Finally, Joseph Greenberg's 1950 work led to the widespread rejection of Hamitic as a language category by linguists. Greenberg refuted Mainhoff's linguistic theories and rejected the use of racial and social evidence. In dismissing the notion of a separate Nilo-Hamitic language category in particular, Greenberg was returning to a view widely held a half-century earlier. He consequently rejoined Mainhoff's so-called Nilo-Hamitic languages with their appropriate Nilotic siblings. He also added the Chadic languages, and proposed the new name Afroasiatic for the family. Almost all scholars have accepted this classification as the new and continued consensus. Similarities in Grammar and Syntax Greenberg's model was fully developed in his book The Languages of Africa, in which he reassigned most of Mainhoff's additions to Hamitic to other language families, notably Nilo-Saharan. Following Isaac Shapira and rejecting Mainhoff, he classified the Hottentot language as a member of the central Khoisan languages. To Khoisan he also added the Tanzanian Hadza and Sanda, though this view remains controversial since some scholars consider these languages to be linguistic isolates. Despite this, Greenberg's model remains the basis for modern classifications of languages spoken in Africa, and the Hamitic category has no part in this. Since the three traditional branches of the Hamitic languages have not been shown to form an exclusive phylogenetic unit of their own, separate from other Afroasiatic languages, 
linguists no longer use the term in this sense. Each of these branches is instead now regarded as an independent subgroup of the larger Afroasiatic family. In 1969, Harold Fleming proposed that what had previously been known as Western Cushitic is an independent branch of Afroasiatic, suggesting for it the new name Omotic. This proposal and name have met with widespread acceptance. Several scholars, including Harold Fleming and Robert Hetzron, have since questioned the traditional inclusion of Beja in Cushitic. Glottolog does not accept that the inclusion or even unity of Omotic has been established, nor that of Ongoda or the unclassified Qujarj. It therefore splits off the following groups as small families, South Omotic, Mao, Daiswa, Gong Euro Gimahan, Ongoda, Qujarj. Shared Vocabulary Etymological Bibliography Hausa, the dominant language of northern Nigeria, Ghana, and southern Niger, spoken as a first language by over 27 million people and used as a lingua franca by another 20 million across West Africa and the Sahel, Oromo, spoken in Ethiopia and Kenya by around 33 million people total, Amharic, spoken in Ethiopia with over 25 million native speakers in addition to millions of other Ethiopians speaking it as a second language, Somali, spoken by 15 million people in Somalia, Djibouti, Eastern Ethiopia and Northeastern Kenya, Hebrew, spoken by around 9 million people in Israel and worldwide, Tigrinya spoken by around 6.9 million people in Eritrea and Ethiopia, Kabyle, spoken by around 5 million people in Algeria, Central Atlas to Mazite, spoken by around 2.49 million people in Morocco, Neo-Aramaic languages, spoken by about 550,000 people worldwide. This is not just one language a euro it includes a number of subdivisions, with the Syrian Neo-Aramaic being the most spoken variety. Little agreement exists on the subgrouping of the five or six branches of Afro-Asiatic, Semitic, Egyptian, Berber, Chadic, Cushitic, and Omotic. However, Christopher Arrett, Harold Fleming and Joseph Greenberg all agree that the Omotic branch split from the rest first. Otherwise, Berber, Chadic, Cushitic, Egyptian, Omotic, Semitic. Afroasiatic is one of the four major language families spoken in Africa identified by Joseph Greenberg in his book The Languages of Africa. It is one of the few whose speech area is transcontinental, with languages from Afroasiatic Semitic branch also spoken in the Middle East and Europe. Bibliography There are no generally accepted relations between Afroasiatic and any other language family. However, Several proposals grouping Afroasiatic with one or more other language families have been made. The best known of these are the following. The Omotic language branch is the most controversial member of Afroasiatic, because the grammatical formatives that most linguists have given greatest weight in classifying languages in the family are either absent or distinctly wobbly. Greenberg and others considered it a subgroup of Cushitic, whereas others have raised doubts about it being part of Afroasiatic at all. The Afroasiatic identity of Ongoda is also broadly questioned, as is its position within Afroasiatic among those who accept it, due to the mixed appearance of the language and a paucity of research and data. Harold Fleming proposes that Ongoda constitutes a separate branch of Afroasiatic. Bonnie Sands believes the most convincing proposal is by Sava and Tosco namely that Ongoda is an East Cushitic language with a Nilo-Saharan substratum. 
In other words, it would appear that the Ongoda people once spoke a Nilo-Saharan language but then shifted to speaking a Cushitic language but retained some characteristics of their earlier Nilo-Saharan language. Beja is sometimes listed as a separate branch of Afro-Asiatic but is more often included in the Cushitic branch, which has a high degree of internal diversity. Whether the various branches of Cushitic actually form a language family is sometimes questioned, but not their inclusion in Afroasiatic itself. There is no consensus on the interrelationships of the five nonomotic branches of Afroasiatic. This situation is not unusual, even among long established language families. There are also many disagreements concerning the internal classification of the Indo European languages, for instance, Meroitic has been proposed as an unclassified Afro Asiatic language, because it shares the phonotactics characteristic of the family, but there is not enough evidence to secure a classification. The earliest written evidence of an Afro-Asiatic language is an ancient Egyptian inscription dated to c. 3400 BC. Symbols on jersey and pottery resembling Egyptian hieroglyphs date back to c. 4000 BC, suggesting an earlier possible dating. This gives us a minimum date for the age of Afro-Asiatic. However, Ancient Egyptian is highly divergent from Proto-Afro-Asiatic, and considerable time must have elapsed in between them. Estimates of the date at which the Proto-Afro-Asiatic language was spoken vary widely. They fall within a range between approximately 7500 BC, and approximately 16000 BC. According to Igor M. Diakonov, Proto-Afro-Asiatic was spoken c. 10,000 BC. Christopher Arad asserts that Proto-Afro-Asiatic was spoken c. 11,000 BC at the latest, and possibly as early as c. 16,000 BC. These dates are older than those associated with other proto-languages. The term Afro-Asiatic Urimat refers to the hypothetical place where Proto-Afro-Asiatic language speakers lived in a single linguistic community, or complex of communities, before this original language dispersed geographically and divided into distinct languages. Afro-Asiatic languages are today primarily spoken in West Asia, North Africa, the Horn of Africa, and parts of the Sahel. Their distribution seems to have been influenced by the Sahara pump operating over the last 10,000 years. There is no agreement when or where the original homeland of this language family existed. Proposed locations include North Africa, the Horn of Africa, the Eastern Sahara, and the Levant. Paul Newman groups Berber with Chadic and Egyptian with Semitic while questioning the inclusion of Omotic in Afro-Asiatic. Rolf Thiel concurs with the exclusion of Omotic, but does not otherwise address the structure of the family. Harold Fleming divides non-Omotic Afro-Asiatic, or Erythrian, into three groups, Cushitic, Semitic, and Chadic Berber Egyptian. He later added Semitic and Beja to Chadic Berber Egyptian and tentatively proposed Ongoda as a new third branch of Erythrian. He thus divided Afro-Asiatic into two major branches, Omotic and Erythrian, with Erythrian consisting of three sub-branches, Cushitic, Chadic Berber Egyptian Semitic Beja, and Ongoda, like Harold Fleming. Christopher Arad divides Afro-Asiatic into two branches, Omotic and Erythrian. He divides Omotic into two branches, North Omotic and South Omotic. He divides Erythrian into Cushitic, comprising Beja, Aga, and East-South Cushitic, and North Erythrian, comprising Chadic and Boreafrasian. According to his classification, Boreafrasian consists of Egyptian, Berber, and Semitic, 
Vladimir Orel and Olga Stolbova group Berber with Semitic and Chadic with Egyptian. They split up Cushitic into five or more independent branches of Afro-Asiatic, viewing Cushitic as a sprachbund rather than a language family. Igor M. Diakonov subdivides Afro-Asiatic in two, grouping Berber, Cushitic, and Semitic together as East-West Afrasian, and Chadic with Egyptian as North-South Afrasian. He excludes Omotic from Afro-Asiatic. Lionel Bender groups Berber, Cushitic, and Semitic together as macro -Cushitic. He regards Chadic and Omotic as the branches of Afro-Asiatic most remote from the others, Alexander Militarev, on the basis of lexicostatistics, groups Berber with Chadic and both more distantly with Semitic, as against Cushitic and Omotic. He places Ongoda in South Omotic. Widespread features of the Afro-Asiatic languages include One of the most remarkable shared features among the Afro-Asiatic languages is the prefixing verb conjugation, with the distinctive pattern of prefixes beginning with slash etny slash, and in particular a pattern whereby third singular masculine slash y slash is opposed to third singular feminine and second singular slash t slash. According to Arit, tonal languages appear in the Omotic and Chadic branches of Afro-Asiatic, as well as in certain Cushitic languages. The Semitic, Berber and Egyptian branches generally do not use tones phonemically. The following are some examples of Afro-Asiatic cognates, including ten pronouns, three nouns, and three verbs. There are two etymological dictionaries of Afro-Asiatic, one by Christopher Arat, and one by Vladimir Orel and Olga Stolbova. The two dictionaries disagree on almost everything. The following table contains the 30 roots or so that represent a fragile consensus of present research. Some of the main sources for Afro-Asiatic etymologies include Hermann Mahler argued for a relation between Semitic and the Indo-European languages. This proposal was accepted by a few linguists. However, the theory has little currency today, although most linguists do not deny the existence of grammatical similarities between both families, apparently influenced by Mahler. Holger Peterson included Hamido-Semitic in his proposed Nostratic macrofamily also included the Indo-European, Uralic, Altaic, Yukagir languages, and Dravidian languages. This inclusion was retained by subsequent Nostraticists, starting with Vladislav Ilich Svitek and Eheron Dolgopolsky. Joseph Greenberg did not reject a relationship of Afro-Asiatic to these other languages, but he considered it more distantly related to them than they were to each other, grouping instead these other languages in a separate macro family, which he called Eurasiatic, and to which he added Chikoshan, Jilyak, Korean, Japanese Ryukyuan, Eskimo Euro Aleut, and Ainu, most recently. Sergei Star Austin S. School has accepted Eurasiatic as a subgroup of Nostratic with Afro-Asiatic, Dravidian and Kartvelian in Nostratic outside of Eurasiatic. The even larger Borean superfamily contains Nostratic as well as Dina copyright Caucasian and Austric. A set of emphatic consonants, variously realized as glottalized, pharyngealized, or implosive, VSO typology with SVO tendencies, a two-gender system in the singular, with the feminine marked by the sound slash t slash dot, all Afro-Asiatic subfamilies show evidence of a causative affix s, Semitic, Berber, Cushitic, and Chadic support possessive suffixes, Nisba derivation in j or a, morphology in which words inflect by changes within the root as well as with prefixes and suffixes. Cohen, Marcel. 1947. 
Essay comparatif sur le vocabulaire et la fauna copyrightique du chemito essay copyright mida key. Paris, Champion, Diakonov, Igor Metal 1993 Euro 1997. Historical comparative vocabulary of Afrasian, St. Petersburg Journal of African Studies 2 A Euro 6, Arad, Christopher. 1995. Reconstructing Proto Afro Asiatic, Vowels, Tone, Consonants, and Vocabulary. Berkeley and Los Angeles, University of California Press, Orel, Vladimir E. and Olga V. Stolbova. 1995. Hamido Semitic Etymological Dictionary, Materials for a Reconstruction. Leiden, Brill. ISBN 90-04-10051-2